What is up everybody out there? Artist of Strong Style here, here to give you another deck profile. You can see right here, okay, yes, it is Ritual. Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. It is a Ritual deck. Here's the thing. I'm using Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, using the incantations, and I'm combining it with the Cyber Angels. Pretty much, it's pretty fun because this because pretty much the Cyber Angels have some cool effects. So this is with the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon with the Cyber Angels incantation. Since you know the incantations help you go fast, making your ritual monsters. So, pretty much, all right. Let's start off first with, of course, you're gonna need three Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragons. You need Chaos Form. Cannot be special summoned by any other way. Cannot be targeted or destroyed. Your opponent can affects, yeah. Pretty much, if this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage double. So pretty much if you're attacking a monster that's zero, that's it, that's it. 8,000 direct damage like that. Pretty much, yeah. Blue Eyes Chaos. So... Pretty much, that's all Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon is. Possibly one of the best ritual monsters out of all. Now, okay, we'll go with Cyber Angels. Then, we'll go with the Cyber Angel Dekanai. I believe that's the way you say it. <laughs> I don't know how to really say it. Dekanai? Dekanii? Oh, no. Anyways, okay. It's an 8. Pretty much in this deck, it's easy to make 8s. So, Cyber Angel Dekanai. Ritual. So this is a fairy dragon, since the, ritual, since the Cyber Angels are rituals. Here it is. You can only special summon this way by the Machine Angel Ritual. So, these are what the Cyber Angels do. First, yeah, it must be ritual by using the Machine Angel Ritual. And this card is ritual summoned. You can make... You can make your opponent send one monster they control to the graveyard of their choice. If a ritual monster you control attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. Once per turn, during your end phase, you can target one ritual monster or machine. Pretty much, yeah. Target one ritual monster or one machine ritual Angel Ritual, from your graveyard, back to your hand. So, they're pretty much, yeah, the Cyber Angels can do some crazy stuff also. So, that's Cyber Angel Dekanai. Then, we'll go with the Cyber Angel Azanai. Azana, I think that's the way you say it. So, yeah, Cyber Angel Azani. Azana, I, I'll call it Azana. Pretty much, yeah, also, same thing. You need the Angel Ritual. Then, pretty much, let me read here. You can make your, yeah, when it is summoned out, you can make your opponent send one spell trap card. They control it to the graveyard. When this card, so yeah, same thing, almost like Angel. So, Takanai is for sending your Saying your opponent of their choice of a monster to the graveyard. Izana, same thing, except it's except it's a magic or trap of their choice. Its other effect is if you if you, if it attacks a monster and destroys and it and it destroys it, you can make a second attack. As long as you're attacking a monster. It can't be like, you know, you attack, destroy a monster, and then attack directly. No, it has to be a monster. Then, also, once per turn, when your opponent activates a card effect or effect that targets a Cyber Angel, pretty much, Cyber Angel, you control 
quick effect. You can shuffle one ritual monster from your graveyard into the graveyard. And if you do, destroy one card your opponent controls. <laughs> so the angels can be pretty crazy. And then my last angel I use is the cyber, cyber angel rash. Okay, yeah. High level monster, but there's a way to do this. And it's not that hard to do it. Cyber Angel Varash, okay. You need, of course, yeah, the Ritual. If this is Ritual Summon, you can destroy as many face-up monsters your opponent controls as possible that are special summoned from the extra deck. And if you do, inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent for each one that is sent to the graveyard. This card can make a second attack. Second attack during each battle phase your turn. This turn. Once per turn. During either player's turn. When a... When a card or effect is activated that would destroy a card on the field, you can shuffle one ritual monster from your graveyard into the deck. Negate the activation if you do destroy it. So, yeah, the Cyber Angels can be a bit um, crazy. <laughs> That's what I like about the Cyber Angels. They have some good effects. One, you can pierce. Two, attack twice. Another, destroy all, destroy all, all monsters. Pretty much. And you get cards right back. So the Cyber Angels are pretty cool. So those are my only rituals. Now we'll go with the monsters. Okay, so always, you're gonna wanna go with your Manju. So yeah, everybody knows pretty much Manju. Yeah, when this when this card is normal or flipped, you can select one ritual monster or spell from your deck, add it to your hand. Everyone knows Manju, simple as that. That's your main one you're gonna wanna use. Now we're gonna go with the incantations. So first is candle. Then you got Talismandra. Pensabloom. And the Bookstone. I'll explain each one. If you guys don't know them, I'll explain them. So, Candle. Reveal a, ri reveal a sp ritual spell card from your hand. Special summon this. Then you can special summon one other incantation monster from your deck to the field, except the candle. When this is special summoned by a different incantation, you can search for any ritual magic card, spell card from your deck, add it to your hand. So pretty much these are, these are helpers to help you get your ritual monsters or ritual spells. And here's the thing, these are special summon. Manju is a normal summon. These are special summons. So that's Kando. Talismanja. Reveal a ritual monster. Special summon it. Reveal one of your monsters. Special summon this. Here's the thing. When it is special summoned by a different incantation, search for any ritual monster from your deck, add it, to your, add it to your hand. Then you got the pencil plume. Reveal a ritual monster in your hand. Special summon this. One of the special summon by a different incantation monster. You can, of course, yes. This card is special summon. You can target one ritual monster in your graveyard. Add it right back to your hand. And then the bookstone reveal a spell card. Special summon it. When special summoned by a different incantation, gay ritual spell card from your graveyard. 
So, pretty much, these are to get your cards right back from the deck. And you got yours right here from your deck. So, graveyard, your deck to your hand. That's what the incantations do. So, those are your monsters. Of course, yeah. You're going to go with the Chaos form. That's where Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. And yeah, it's so easy to make, you know, eights. Because you have to do eight. And if you want, if you need to, yeah. Your Cyber Angels are eights. The only one that isn't eight is the Cyber Angel Vrash. But it's so easy to make this. It could be like, you know, normal. Get your... Of course, yeah. Blue Eyes Chaos... Or chaos form, whatever. Special. Eight. <laughs> so that's chaos form. Then machine angel absolute ritual. This is for the cyber angels. Same thing like chaos form. Exactly eight since, you know, cyber angels are eight. Except if you can make a ten, well, then that's rash. Pretty much 10 is just, of course, yeah. Six. Then, yes. So. All right. So, last spell card is Incantation Inception. Now, Incantation Inception is... You can use as, as long as you use an incantation, you can make whatever as a substitute. That's almost like what I mean by Cyber Angel of Rash. It could be like, all right. As long as you use an incantation. So you don't really need to use the machine. You can use incantation as your substitute. So if you have like right here already 10 Use Incantation, Cyber Angel Rash. It works for it either. You can even do it with your Cyber Angel. Your other Cyber Angels or the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon as your substitute. So pretty much you do not have to really use the actual Chaos. Yeah. So you get the idea? Incantation is your substitute. That's the... Pretty much that is for the... Um, Substitute and that and those are the only ones for the ritual Ritual magic cards Then you just pretty much got monster reborn Raigeki and harpy's feather duster Sometimes there's a trick where if you have your angel and Blue eyes chaos max dragon Here's a trick sometimes what you can do And let's say you have monster reborn All right Chaos form. This is eight. Get rid of it. Blue eyes cast max dragon. Monster reborn. Right back. So don't really don't really think that oh, I just wasted my card. No, if you have monster reborn, you can just bring it right back. Now for traps. Pretty much, yeah. For trap cards, I've always used Mirror Forces. But it seems like Mirror Forces is not so much anymore. Maybe you want to try something else. So, because, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. Mirror Forces, I love using. My favorite. But when I go against opponents, they always have ways of destroying it. And they don't really want to attack. So, that really hits uh, Mirror Force. But, the old time, bottom the trap hole. The all time compulsory, the all time torrential, and then solemn strike. How sometimes cards say you cannot target them, torrential and bottomless are not trabuting, are not tribute. They do not target. My mistake. They do not target. Bottomless trap hole. When your opponent summons a monster, 
with with a, a 15 or more remove them torrential all cards including your monsters are gone so watch out on that okay this is targeting but return one monster to its hand so if they were to spe if they were to synchro or play in a uh, link and you can hit those compulsory send it right back then solemn strike now here's the thing you can play as many as you want. So two, 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 and then your solemn strikes. Of course, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Only blue eyes chaos max dragon. Of course, yeah. People would do that with um, using it with the blue eyes white dragon. You know, playing that kind of a deck. But if you do a ritual deck, or, or of course, yeah, they would use the incantations. But if you want to play more fun and more kind of a play like the way I do, because, yeah, I only play for, I'm only going to do it that way. Well, then I like using another ritual monster. So, yeah, Cyber Angels is with the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. And, yeah, I just showed you what the Cyber Angels can do. And just, yeah, pretty much... You're making a lot of eights, so it's not that really hard to do. And I don't think it's hard with the Vrash, because it makes a 10. Inception, pretty much. Your substitute, and then if you can... The machine. Of course, yeah. Whatever it is. Pretty much. So, there it is, Blue Eyes Chaos Max with the Cyber Angels. No extra deck, it's just Ritual. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll speak to you all later. Peace.